Hey guys, Jan of Jan Hicks Creates here, coming at you at a very strange time. <laughs> it is, oh, 8.15 on Friday, August 31st. Um, I had told you in my floss tube the other day that we were going to be heading up to Connecticut for the weekend and we were supposed to leave today, um, but something had happened that prevented that and I'll get into that in a second. Um, As many of you know, and as many of you are participating along with, the Tis the Season Sal, um, the one with the Cardinal, starts tomorrow. There are several things that have happened yesterday and today that um, I felt that I needed a little reward, and so I started early. And I'm glad I did, because in the process of starting early, I found several changes I needed to make to the colors I, I had chosen. I had mentioned in my last video that um, I had asked you guys if you were interested in me doing any shorter videos just talking about my color choices, and many of you said you were very interested in that. So this is my first one of that. I'm going to talk about the colors I originally chose for this, and as I was starting it, why I decided to make changes. But first, um, why am I here and not in Connecticut? If you have been with me for a while, um, you will remember that I mentioned a few months ago that I was traveling up to um, Pennsylvania to visit a friend of mine who has been dealing with cancer. She has been fighting um, colon cancer for five years now. She was diagnosed in 2013. Yesterday, she lost that battle. Um, and so that was, you know, you know it's coming cancer sucks but it's always hard to take and see here I am I'm gonna cry again in the video and I don't know how you guys put up with me um, so anyways that was yesterday this morning well yesterday evening Mike we have Mike's parents phone on our find friends app on our phones because there's been several times that things have happened and we didn't know where they were and they didn't answer their phone, either their house phone or their cell phones. And, um, you know, when your parents are in their 80s, you get worried. So we put them on our Find the Friend, Find Friends app. And Mike noticed last night that his mother was in a um, hospital that wasn't the normal hospital that she usually goes to. She usually is at the Mayo Clinic in Scottsdale, Arizona, with all of her medical issues. So she sent it, he sent her an email last night, and we got a response this morning. Um, she had been at the Mayo Clinic visiting her GI specialist. Um, they found that she was severely dehydrated due to a GI bleed. So they scheduled her for surgery, surgery next Tuesday. On the way home, my mother and father-in-law decided to stop someplace for lunch my father-in-law dropped my mother-in-law off at the door and then he went and parked the car. She was lightheaded um, as she was walking towards the door of the restaurant and when she, I guess, got to the door, opened the door, I'm not sure which, she passed out. Um, ended up knocking her head pretty good against the door frame but actually fracturing her pelvis in two places. Um, so therefore she ended up in the hospital closest to this restaurant. So. We've been spending the day um, finding out how she is, waiting to hear how she is before to see if we need to fly out to Phoenix instead of traveling to Connecticut. Um, we just got off the phone with her and um, she will be in the hospital for an unknown number of days and then she will be going for to a rehab unit for two weeks. Um, so tomorrow we are going to be traveling to Connecticut. Tomorrow morning we'll get up bright and early. Um, the third thing though that led me to wanting to start this early <clears throat> is that um, I crossed 2,000 subscribers in FlossTube I, or in YouTube. I now have, I think, 2,007 subscribers. 1,900 just went by like that. Um, I am going to have a giveaway. I am currently um, working out what I want to do. It is going to involve this chart, though. This will be part of the giveaway. This was a chart gifted to me from Kelly Coons. She ended up with two. Can't imagine how that happens. You know, that never happens to me. Yeah, 
Thank you, Kelly. So anyways, that is a very sweet gift, and this is going to be part of the giveaway, and I have to figure out what else is going to be included. So anyways, um, those three things, I thought, you know something? I deserve a new start tonight. So I started on the Tis the Season Sal. That's just part of the chart. Let me see if I can show you the whole thing. I, I know you guys have seen it millions and millions of times, and this is a smaller picture. So that's the whole chart, or the whole design. So, let me show you what I have. And, per usual, I'm not using the called for. The called for flosses are Belsois, um, Classic Colorworks Belsois. I'm not using those. As we all know, Nancy Turner dyed flosses um, to match the Belsois colors. And I am, am using some of those, one of which is the vanilla pudding here. That's the only one of hers that I've used so far. So, let's look at this. We have the kind of brownish, and let me go back. I think I mentioned this in my videos, but the reason I decided to change a lot of my colors is because I want more variegation in my flosses than what Nancy had and what she dyed. And that's perfectly fine, you know. Some people like more, some people like less. I decided I wanted more. So we have the branch that's kind of a brownish. And then we have three different colors of leaves. We have the green, light, light to medium green. We have this very dark, almost muddy green. And then this very pale, kind of yellowish, tannish um, leaf. So I started over here with this leaf. Now I had decided originally that I was going to, because I didn't have any floss that had this drastic of a change in colors and variegation, I was going to see if I could create, and you know something, I should have taken these out here. Un momentito. I was going to see if I could create that kind of variegation using, oh, for heaven's sakes, come on. When you want it to come out, it doesn't. Using, is this the right one? Yes, Water Creek. Using Otter Creek by Gentle Arts. Whoops. That's one of their shaker ones. Otter Creek. And Coastal Seaweed. And this is one of Nancy's Victorian motto. But as I started this, um, I decided this was too dark. The Otter Creek was too dark. I did not like that much change. And I was going to try cutting out the lighter parts, and that just gets to be too crazy. So I ended up just going with the Coastal Seaweed. And I'm sorry, it's dark, of course. I do have my hot light shining on a white board that's giving me a nice reflection, but it's not, it's not ideal, but it's not too bad. So anyway, this has a lot of nice variegation. It kind of goes from a grayish to a turquoise-ish, and of course you know how much I love turquoise. And so, and my, my um, fabric is 36 count sterling by Picture This Plus, so it, it kind of is a, a greener, turquoisier color. You'd think the word sterling, sterling would mean it was gray, and it's really, it's really not. It's showing pretty true there. So I really liked how that looked. I did the branch, I did some of the red, and I really liked starting in this little corner because it gave me a real quick feel for how some of the colors were gonna to play together. Love the red. The red, again, is um, Victorian motto, um, Garden Rose. So it has, it goes from brighter red to darker red, and I really like that. Vanilla pudding, I think it's showing up fine. It'll be fine, especially as, as I get more. I was thinking at first when I started that it would be too light, but it's not. Okay, so then we get down to this darker leaf. And for the darker leaf, I had originally chosen, um, let me see. <clears throat> I had originally chosen Forest Glade. I forgot to get that one out. Let me put Coastal Seaweed down and let me get out Forest Glade. Forest Glade is a very dark olive. 
and it does have some nice variegation. You can see that there. That's pretty true. Might be a little bit darker than it's showing there. And that, that might, might not be too bad for that. But um, I decided to try Otter Creek instead. So again, this is Otter Creek. I really love the variegation in this. And I thought that this might complement better the crystal or the coastal seaweed. So that is Otter Creek right there. So it doesn't have a whole lot of variegation. Again, the original looks like that. So I think it's pretty close. This scene is looking a little bit grayer, but I think it's pretty close. So I was happy with that. And then we get to this gold one. Now I had originally chosen, and again, I didn't pull it out, so let me do that. I had originally chosen um, Gentle Arts Mustard Seed for this. That's another one of the shaker, shaker ones. And it is very gold. It is much golder. You can see the called for, it's really much tanner. And it does have a lot of variegation, just like the, the green does. And so I did a few stitches in this, in the mustard seed. And I liked it. Um, the mustard seed combined with these other ones gave it a very rich, very Christmassy look. I mean, you can see that that has a really nice, pretty combination to it, right? But as I mentioned in my video the other day, I looked at the overall picture and I thought, one of the things that's happening here is not only do you have a change in color, but you have a change in contrast. You have the, the lighter and the much darker and then the pale. So kind of a medium dark light, right? And then you have the red really standing out. And so again, as I mentioned with the Indigo Lane one, if I want to keep true to the designer's original intent, as much as I like this gold, I had to ask myself, is what appealed to me about this pattern, 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 I made it three syllables. I don't think it should be three syllables. Talk about a bunny trail. If what appealed to me about this pattern was the overall dark to light, and it is. I mean, I love how the darker leaves stand out and balance out the cardinal, and then the red sparkled through, and then the green has that nice mellow look, and then the yellow just kind of fades. It has a great balance to it. And so if I wanted to remain true to that and not end up with that really rich, kind of schmaltzy, Christmassy look, then I needed to change that gold. And so what I ended up with was Sandcastle. And again, I didn't take it out. Hold on. So Sandcastle is pale. Pale gold to even paler. So it does have that kind of tan to gold change. And so that's what we have here. I'm really happy with it. It could have a little bit more of the paler colors and maybe some of the other parts of the floss will. This is still not perfect compared to what I have going on here, but you know, you know how I like turquoise. I'm gonna leave it. I will make that my little signature mark of this. So anyways, my start of Tis the Season, my thoughts on my color changes. I hope that was helpful. I will be heading to Connecticut first thing tomorrow morning. Um, who knows, maybe I'll do a video, maybe I won't. Just have to see how the spirit moves me and what I feel like getting into. I hope you guys have a great weekend for you in the US. Have a great Labor Day weekend. Have some downtime, enjoy family, enjoy food. Um, and I will see you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.